help me welcome Lauren Sell from the OpenStack Foundation, um, Alejandra Flores, and Victor Diaz. Great. Well, I am very happy to be here today with Alejandra and Victor because they have been involved in a big community effort we've had this last year to organize app hackathons. Uh, we did the first one in Taiwan earlier this year, and then most recently in Guadalajara, Mexico in September. And our goals around this are really about education, um, community building, bringing new folks into the community that are application developers, and also building up the set of training materials and documentation. So um, with that, I just want to ask you know, Victor and Alejandra, what motivated you? I mean, it's a lot of work to put on these hackathons. Why did you want to put one on in Guadalajara? Thanks, Laurie. We're very happy to be here. So the main reason why we decided to run the hackathon in Guadalajara was because of the technical ecosystem. We have a lot of communities in Guadalajara of developers and also technical companies and universities. And we wanted them to be exposed to the benefits of building applications on OpenStack. Awesome. And so you're talking about them being exposed to OpenStack, and training is really important. Can you tell us a little about what you did to prepare for the hackathon? Yeah. Well, as one of the founders of the OpenStack community in Guadalajara said, aprendemos mejor en comunidad. We learn better sharing our knowledge. Um, for that matter, uh, we have five previous sessions of trainings before the hackathon, starting with OpenStack 101 and going all the way to IoT. We had the chance to learn from cloud experts from around the world. Um, we have trainers from Spain, from United States, Canada, and of course from Guadalajara, who also work as mentors during the hackathon. Awesome. So can you tell us a little about who participated and what it was like? So as I mentioned, we had all the communities on board. We have also participation from students and also researchers, and obviously professional developers. We had more than 200 participants among the uh, participants and also mentors, judges, and all our uh, support from our sponsors. Awesome. Well, let's give them a look. Okay. Hackathons are incredibly inspiring. So inspiring because it's education. It's helping application developers understand the opportunities with cloud computing and come together and start to build a community. Enable them to think creatively. It allows more people than ever before to have access to technology. All collaborating, sharing ideas, being able to make digital things and digital ideas is what a hackathon does. Guadalajara is one of the fastest growing technology cities um, in the world. We're very happy to be here for the first ever OpenStack application hackathon in the Americas. This is the second one that we've done. The first one was, uh, was in Asia. Behind me in the room, we've got around 200 people participating. The theme that they try to get the teams to develop around are applications that can help make an impact on society and improve the quality of people's lives. 48 hours, 72 hours, and really go after that. The really exciting thing, of course, is the hackathon also is a competition. So what is the best idea? Welcome to the OpenStack community. We consider all of you a part of it now. The energy is very high right now. Corazón de OpenStack es entre la comunidad. No hay mejor manera de aprender que en comunidad. Por eso estamos aquí. I just want to say thank you very much for, for coming and, uh, and participating in this, putting out all of that effort over the last few days, and just, you know, it's, it's super impressive and I love to see it. So thank you all of, uh, all of the participants. <laughs>
Awesome. So welcome to the winning team, Sinsamaya. Welcome, team Sensemaya. Please tell us more about your experience on the hackathon in Guadalajara. Uh, we was an amazing experience, and we had an, a very fun nerd time. But <laughs> we really enjoy and we really love it. And during these three days, we have the, a very cool space and access to the world-class expert that help us to create an application to solve a problem. The problem is a medical crisis or, or in America emergencies and solve the golden hour to the paramedics acts in a way, in a correct way. Great. So you're talking about um, you, you're built an app for personal medical records on, on a device, right? Because there's this need regionally for that. Can you tell us a little more about it, Alejandra? Um, yeah, um, as Paulina mentioned, uh, we were talking about the golden hour. So in a medical emergency, the time between the injury and the first medical treatment you receive on the ER is, should be like the minimum. So it's recommended to be like 60 minutes between these two things happen, and it's a very short time. So between these 60 minutes, paramedics only have 10 minutes to act. And normally they do it kind of like blindsided. They just work with what they have on the field. And what if we can provide them like the background information that they need to treat better the patient in that moment? That's great. Well, why don't you show us how it works? Yes, OK. This is an OpenStack application that combines this device. So the idea is only the, the, the patients have all time, and an application for, a med, for a physicians and our paramedics. The paramedic only need to touch this button scan and scan all devices. And with that phone, the device, it fetch the information of the patient to the cloud and show in the screen. That information helps to the paramedics to act in a correct way. That's great. So basically, this could be a paramedic. It could be a doctor, anyone who you want to be able to give access to your medical records in a timely manner. It's awesome. So are you going to continue this work? What have, what have you done since the hackathon? Yes, this application is started in an open source event, and we want to get it, up, get it that way. We want to open a community, open this application for the community to have more developers help us to develop the better applications of medical record social. That's awesome. So speaking of more work, uh, there's actually this uh, group that Victor and Alejandra participated in. There's a working group that's helping to organize these hackathons. Um, and I think there's another one already on the horizon, if you want to tell us about it. Yes, we want to extend the invitation to the next hackathon that is coming at the last week of March next year. And also, we're going to have a working group meeting today at 6 p.m. So if you want to know more about how to run a hackathon, all the material we have prepared about running a hackathon, uh, please be on touch. We're going to be here whole week. Great. And where can they find y'all at the summit this week? Oh, we're going to be on the Marketplace on the Cloud App Lounge. And actually, tomorrow, I think we're going to have some challenges for developers. So if you want to try OpenStack and learn how to build cloud apps, you can do it in that space and also win amazing prizes. So that's always good. <laughs> <laughs> Great. Well, thank you so much. Congratulations, teams and Samaya. And thank you, Victor and Alejandra, for all your work. Okay. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you very much. Bye. Well, thank you.